Should you buy that car fully in cash or is it okay to have a car payment every month? What are the factors to consider and what's the best decision for you personally? Hi guys, my name is Nolan Govea or Professor G as my students know me. I'm a business professor that specializes in personal finance. On this channel, I do all the research so you don't have to. So buy a car in cash or have a payment. People like Dave Ramsey will tell you, don't buy a car unless you can buy it fully in cash. Stupid. Stupid. That may make sense for some, but for some it's totally unrealistic. Let's just begin with the fact that if you absolutely need a car and you don't have enough money to be able to buy an okay used car, what are you supposed to do? Dave and some others might say something like, go out and buy like a $1,000 or $2,000 absolute junker and then just save up your money for the next couple months and with that buy a better used car. That sounds all nice and great, but the problem is that if you truly buy an absolute junker, $1,000, $2,000, thousand dollar car every couple months you're gonna have to service that thing just to keep it running so that money that you've been saving up diligently to buy this better used car is just gonna get drained each month so now all you've bought yourself is a headache and a liability and you're even further away from getting that car that you need somebody please smack me now on the other side, if you do have some money saved up, say you've saved up $15,000, you could buy yourself a nice quality used car. But should you deplete your entire savings for that just to make sure that you don't have a payment. Dave and some other finance gurus might say yes. And I might agree with them for certain people, but also for other people, it may not be the best case. So anytime you're gonna make a sizable purchase or really just any purchase, you need to know a couple things. Number one, you need to make sure that you have your budget dialed in. You should know where all of your money is going, all of your expenses, how much money do you have left over at the end of the month in disposable income that you could use to buy buy this car or to save money or to invest or whatever. Just what is that extra amount each month? So let's say for the purpose of the example for this video that you have a disposable income of about $500 and you've been saving that money up for about three years and like I said, you have $15,000. So the way that I wanna teach you guys how to think and make a financial decision is the same way that millionaires and billionaires do, which is to factor in the opportunity cost. Just looking at like what happens if I don't spend all of this money? What could that money then do? So let's look at the pros and cons if you were to spend all of that money on the car, pay it totally down in cash right away versus having a car payment each month. So if you were to pay fully in cash today, the pro is obviously a nice car that's new to you and you don't have a payment each month. You also still have that disposable income of $500 each month that you now get to use fully to either buy things that you want, invest, or save. The con though is that you just depleted your whole savings. So now you have nothing sitting in the bank. So now in scenario number two, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put 20% down and you're gonna be okay with having a car payment. So instead of putting $15,000 totally in, you're only gonna put down 3,000, which keeps 12,000 still in the bank for you. This will leave you with a loan of $12,000 over the next five years, which is $200 a month, plus another five or $10 a month for interest that they're gonna charge you for the loan. So overall, we'll say it's gonna be about a $210 payment each month. So in this scenario, the pros are you have this this nice car that's new to you you get to drive it around and you also still have twelve thousand dollars sitting in the bank that you can do with what you'd like the con of course is that you have a payment now each month for two hundred and ten dollars now if we were just to look very quickly at the two scenarios one doesn't have a payment each month and one does have a payment each month, it's pretty easy to say, well, I just don't want a payment every month, so I'd rather take that one. Not so fast. The real magic and the way millionaires think and the way that I'm teaching you guys to think because you subscribe to this channel, go ahead. Real magic comes from what you do with that extra money. Let me show you. So in scenario number one, that full $15,000 goes to the car, but then monthly after that, you have $500 to invest with. After five years, your investments will be worth about 36,630. Not bad. But in scenario number two, you guys put $3,000 down to the car so that $12,000 can go straight into investing. Each month, you can put $290 toward investing as well. At the end of five years, you will have $40,571. So to recap, in five years, in both scenarios, 
you own the car, it's totally paid off, but in scenario number two, you make $4,000 more. And that's the way the truly wealthy look at financial decisions. What other possible options are there for my money? And how can I make it best work for me? Now remember that the main thing that I did there in that scenario was that I kept everything the same. I kept the payments to five years. I made the investments five years. I made the investments the same percentage. Everything has to make sense and equal out so you can truly measure apples to apples. Now, something that needs to absolutely be taken into consideration is your personality. If it takes stress away from your life, knowing that you are debt-free, knowing that you don't have to have a payment every month, then that is the best option no matter how much money you could possibly make an opportunity cost. In scenario number two, if it just takes stress off of you to know that you have a little bit of money saved up in the bank and you wanna keep it there, so you wanna have a payment every month and not worry about depleting your whole savings just for this car, then having a payment, as long as it's within your budget, totally makes sense and that's the best option for you. Regardless of if you invest the rest of the money or do anything like that. The investing side is just next level and it's something that I hope that you do, but at the end of the day, my hope for you guys for real is just to be able to make a decision that is good for you, that's gonna keep you safe, keep you mental health strong and just bring you guys some joy. I know for me personally, I am okay with a little bit more risk. I'm okay with a little more debt as long as it's good debt and not consumer debt, but I'm totally okay holding on to a little more debt, which means having a payment on some things, which frees up a lot more cash so that I can use that cash to work hard for me and bring more return. Let's keep the stress low and the gains high. See you on the next one, guys.